Hey everyone, just finished running, so back to the studio. And we are back in the studio. Today's video is going to be a bit longer because I'm going to talk about the market, about how much money I made on the Stepan application in the last four days. And at the end of the video, I'm going to present a project which is in the last phase of the pre-sale on Aero Network. If you are interested in only one of these, then use the captions and yeah, navigate there, you know, which part you want to see whatever so let's start with the market because it's not too promising let's just say bitcoin is back in the 39,000s, but for me this is only a correction in this downward trend as you can see it is just going down and it is correcting coming back up and uh, going down again for me it is at the intersection of either breaking this uh, this micro downtrend or breaking the major uptrend and uh, that is a bit worrying that is what i don't like to see and i'm just curious to see what is going to happen if we break this uptrend and for many people it is already broken then we might see a lower low which could take us to the 36 or 30,000 so maybe it's a good time to buy in only with money which you don't need the next couple of months maybe years because at these times well it is a very big question mark in which direction we are going to go on ethereum it is the same situation as you can see we are in the uptrend and i could just move this line here just to keep the hope but uh, let's just keep it this way either way if bitcoin goes down ethereum will go down with it anyways therefore it, there is no much sense to uh, to move the lines we are at the intersection again i am looking at ethereum to break either this downtrend and maybe go back to this uptrend to the 3600s or to break the uptrend and go back down to the 2000 2200s i think this is a pretty big support so i i think that many many people will buy in at this zone but we will see where bitcoin is heading because that obviously affects the the overall market in the meantime aaron is showing some ooh, not not too much strength let's just say because it just broke this very big uptrend which is coming from the six dollars and that is something huge and uh, it is very worrying it seems that people don't really buy around and it is just pushed uh, lower and lower again as you can see in these last three candles which are three days the last three days or maybe we can go for the four day four hours support became a resistance around try to push back try to go back above this support but it couldn't and now the next support is around 100 and 120 i think this 111 is also gonna just bounce the price a bit but i'm looking at this big big cluster which is between the 60 and the, and the 100 i think this will hold the price however coming down from the 500 it's not easy to see this and it's not easy to digest it if people don't panic this can be a very good opportunity to buy in to enter but again with money which you don't need in the next couple of months or or years because it could happen that the next pump will be in 2024 after the next halving who knows okay let's move forward and see how much money i made on a step -on. so before we go into that i just wanted to make a quick introduction what is happening because now i got around the the application about the nfts and i just wanted to make a short guide if somebody wants to to buy in if, if somebody wants wants to give themselves the chance to to buy the nft run and just make make back the money only by running so you can buy runner uh jogger or walker shoes uh all of them will give you different rewards obviously the runner gives you the highest reward each shoe has four attributes from which efficiency and resilience is the most important efficiency will give you the reward and resilience is how much you have to spend on the on the shoe because after each run after each time your energy your daily energy drains you will need to repair your shoe the two points daily energy means that you will be able to run or jog or walk for 10 minutes therefore you have to consider very very hard what kind of sports you are doing what is your physical condition or physical state because uh, the runner shoe will require a minimum 
8 km per hour speed of your running so you will need to run for 10 minutes at least with 8 km per hour up to 20 km per hour that will be the green zone as you can see in this picture and that will give you the highest reward obviously the faster you run the closer you are to 20 km per hour the more rewards you will get the jogger is between the 4 km per hour and 10 and the walker is between 1 and 6 now as you can see there is an overlap between the jogger and the walker meaning that if you have a jogger and you walk in a higher pace you will get reward even if you have a jogger and you don't jog let's say you just walk very fast so yeah that is important very important to choose your nft or your shoe right and uh, make sure that you have at the base point the highest uh, efficiency and the highest resilience as you can get obviously as the um, efficiency is higher and the resilience meaning that you will get more reward and you don't need to repair uh, the shoe that much the price of the N nft will be higher you will be able to find that in the application as you can see it here that part you will need to find the best shoe you can at the cheapest price to make sure that you optimize your shoe the best you can use this step and guide uh, where you just put here the base points from the shoe you just chose and you will have 20 points if you choose a shoe which is not already upgraded this is mine right now and i am at level six you will probably buy a shoe at level five but if you buy it on the secondary markets you can buy shoes and at any level obviously it will be more expensive you will have to put in the base points these were the base points for my shoe and i just uh, i just added the 20 points in the application uh, and based on these points your daily income and let me just scroll zoom out a bit uh, based on how much efficiency and resilience you will allocate from your points your daily income will be shown here also the repair cost now when i upgraded from uh, level 5 to level 6 then i got four extra points which i gave to resilience because i wanted to spend less crypto on repair now when i upgrade from level 6 to level 7 then probably i will put um, 60 70 percent to efficiency and 30 percent to the resilience from the points i get so if i get four more points i will put one point into resilience and three points to the efficiency and that's how i will try to uh to uh, get more and more daily income now let's see how much money i made and until we get there just a quick um summary so i spent 1576 dollars on the nft now this is based on solana's price obviously and if i just uh, bought it right now when solana is down i uh, would have spent around 1400 probably it doesn't really matter i already have it and i i am already using it and as you can see i already made a daily average of 37 dollars now this is based on how much gst you gain per day uh, from which how much you spend on uh, on on repair and this gst is already without repair so um, for example here i had to spend two gsts or two point something on the repair therefore i gained 9.8 something like that the gst is also fluctuating i mean the price now it is at around six uh, six dollars and thirty cents if it goes up my average of the daily income will also go up if you want to check the price i'm just gonna go on coin gecko and as you can see now it is at six dollars and 21 cents so i have to update um there was a big drop from uh, 780 something like that yeah 850 uh, that was because there was a big buy one get one uh action where people just cashed out their gst therefore it dropped 50 percent since then it is going back to the 622 23 it is also uh affected by solana's price by bitcoin's price so on so on it's not that important what is important is that you will have to spend some uh, gst to level up your shoe but by leveling up your shoe you will also be able to gain more reward now as i said before you will get uh two energy points for each day they will recharge in 24 hours maybe a bit less 22 hours so you can you can play there but since i am running only once per day in the morning after i wake up i will just uh, spend all the energy in one go the reason i have only 1.5 energies here is because i started in the afternoon and i needed to uh bring it to the morning therefore uh yesterday i already uh started with 1.5 it was a bit later in the morning today i started even earlier therefore tomorrow i will already have 
to energy points and hopefully i can get this uh, 7.66 or even more because at this point i only had level 5 for my shooter but now i have uh, level 6 at the end of the week or maybe next week uh, let's see how much uh, i gain i will level it up again because the leveling up brings you one or two more gsts per day therefore in three four days you can you can just uh, get back your uh, your gst which you spent on the leveling and if you are wondering why would you level up if you have to run a couple of days more to bring back that money it's simple the nft also has a price and the higher the level is the higher is the price so at one point when i want to or if i want to sell it the higher the level my shoe has the higher price i can get for the nft for the shoe therefore that is also a profit opportunity however i don't think i'm going to sell it because first i want to break even and to break even and i'm just gonna update here right now and as you can see i already am at the 36 dollars therefore i have to uh update here the other average income and let's see in how many days in theory uh i will break even so this one says that in uh, day 42 will be my last day when i'm in minus if i can hold this average income but if i am leveling up each day then probably this day will be reduced now there is one more thing to it i am not in my best physical condition i am still struggling with muscle fever i am not as fast as i want to be and i need to stop and take a break pro tip if you stop to take a break you can pause the application you don't need to wait the energy drains based on time not uh, based on the on the distance you are running so if you if you stop then your speed is zero and you don't get gst but the energy is draining therefore stop the application take a break restart the application and just run for it therefore i'm expecting this uh, gst gain per day to go up to 10 11 15 let's see uh, how much how fast i can run and uh, how uh, long i can run uh, but uh, if I can get this up to the to the 15s and the GST price doesn't crash, then probably this break even day will come back to the 30 days, uh, meaning that from that point I will make profits and I will still have the NFT, which I can sell anytime if I see it fit or if I see a big, I don't know, price uh, price jump on the NFT markets therefore as you can see right now i'm in 106 dollars profit as it stands today meaning that with the level up already taken out uh, with the repair course already uh, taken out from the gst gains i have 106 dollars and that was in four days from which the first day was very very weak because i didn't know that i can stop two days i ran only with 1.5 uh, energy points therefore yeah it can be improved you will improve i am hoping that i will i will be able to run faster and faster because i am running the same distance and what i'm working on right now is to improve the speed because when you improve the speed then you will improve the gsts gained as well hope it's clear for everyone if it's not clear let me know in the comments and uh, maybe we can do a live or something where i can answer all your questions about it if you want to get step application you just need to download it you sign up with your email and you will need a verification code which you can get from somebody who already spent 10 energy points therefore i don't have one you can get the activation code on Stepan's discord server in the activation code uh, section or channel but it is pretty hard so uh, i recommend you to be fast if you want if you want to um, to join because more and more people are joining more and more people are buying nfts i can see it all around twitter let's go forward because we do have a pre-sale on air on the network and that is age of zamoxis age of zamoxis is a fantasy world grounded in history the game focuses on ancient eastern europe kingdom uh dacia and uh it says that it is uh beginning shortly after the ruler first king brovisa is assassinated now the game itself looks very good i mean the design i didn't see the game i don't think they have one i mean i'm i'm very sure that they don't have any game yet um they are in the pre-sale the last phase where you can buy some coson tokens if you want if you want to play the game if you want to enter the game when it gets dropped on the market you will need a soul nft which are 
pretty pricey. The, the cheapest one is 6.5 Aaron, which was 6.9 just 10 minutes ago. So maybe it is dropping or they are reducing it uh, because people don't want to buy it. I don't know. What is very important and very interesting for me is the team because a lot of people are working on this game from marketing advisors to, uh, to backend developers and frontend developers and a lot of character artists and 3D artists. And they also have as design consultant, uh, Prof. Dr. Alexander Berzovan, who is an archaeologist uh, at the University of Yash. Now, this is very interesting and probably brings a lot of good things into the game, uh, like uh, historically to be kind of accurate and they will just implement some fantasy. I don't know how big this game will be and uh, I am sure that it will look pretty nice. I hope that they will have a lot of gamers, but for me, the NFT is, is a bit pricey, to be honest. I don't think they are lucky with this market because if the market will just go up then uh, probably they would they would be okay with three air on for one nft uh, people don't like to buy crypto and spend it on an nft when everything is dumping let's go forward if you buy in uh, which i did i spent one air on then i got 250 uh, coson tokens and the vesting period is two years i don't know if this is visible here so you will get 20 percent of the private sale tokens which will be unlocked at day zero you can um, you can sell it or uh, swap it at the listing and the rest of it the 80 percent of the tokens which you have will be vested for two years and every every uh, two quarters of the next two years uh, some of the tokens so 25 percent of the remaining tokens will be released to you meaning that if you have 100 tokens 20 tokens will be available at these day zero to uh, to swap it on my rdex and then every six months 20 other tokens will be released so you can do whatever you want with them i don't know if the lock tokens will be stakeable but uh, i think that this approach uh, is uh, really Focusing on the long-term investors, they don't want any pump and dump. I think they are trying to uh, to be the uh, same as Aaron Network these days. They are trying to avoid any any big uh, buy-ins and any big sell-offs. Therefore, it is a very good investment for the long term. Uh, but it only depends how good will be the game, how many people will play it and uh, whether they can sell their NFTs or not. Now, if we go here... As you can see, you are able to buy any of these NFTs and there is uh, some of them, one of them, the water is already, has already ended. For the other, you have six days here left to buy or three weeks for the, for the more expensive ones. So yeah, if you want to buy an NFT because you want to play it, you want to enter the game, then make sure that you buy one of these NFTs. If you want to go through the details, I will put their link in the description. Go. Uh, check the white paper and check the discord do your own research because that is the most important this was all for today thank you very much for watching hope you like this content if you did like button and subscribe button and i will see you tomorrow questions in the comment zone